Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a while since I've vlogged. <sighs> yeah, I've just had stuff to do. I had a shower that I couldn't use for a week and a half. I had to go to the gym, but also just before I stopped being able to use the shower, I fell over, hurt my knee, which hasn't stopped which only stopped hurting recently. So I didn't go to the gym to utilize the gym. I just went to the gym for the shower. Thank you for your gym. But today I finally had a shower where I didn't have to keep pressing a button in order for it to come back on. Granted, it started out cold because it turns out that the um, plumber, I think it was a plumber, he turns the shower all the way to cold and the shower head was in a different direction so originally when i turned it on i always turn it on with the shower like not the shower off and the shower curtain closed it still came over the top and, I was, and it was cold so it was like great but finally managed to sort the issue, had to reset the shower temperature to the way I like it. Hopefully there's no more leaks, there can't be. Had the temperature of my um shower checked, not shower, tap checked today. However, in the email it just said it was for the kitchen and that we didn't need to be in. It was clearly for the shower, not shower, clearly for our en suites as well. I've currently got a massive error. Well, I'm pretty sure the stuff's still drying. Um, I've worked Friday and Sunday. It's now Monday night. I think I'm pulling an all-nighter just so that I definitely don't miss skills because I woke up late on Monday. I've got a self-medicate thing to do. I need to email um, a report of the stuff that I did for the e-learning um i also need to book my booth my covid booster but the only date that was available was the date before i go home and there isn't one that comes close to me i don't know when booking like when the new date is opened whether that's like midnight or what <sighs> um yeah so yeah, stuff has happened. I'd like to point out this is a new job, by the way, that I've worked over the weekend. I like it so far. Yeah, I'm currently wet. I, I did make an order on Gymshark Black Friday sale. I ordered at like quarter to seven, even though the sale wasn't until like seven, I'm pretty sure. I think, unless it was five and it said 1700, but I thought it was seven. But I ordered this top. I can't remember what it is. It's camo though. Um, and it had this cross body thing. If you watch Sophie Jane and you see her in like her teal, um, like you can sort of see it here. If you watch Sophie Jane, who is an Australian YouTuber, and you see her in her like teal one, like sh this style. I first saw this style on her, and it was so flattering. And it was like, mm, I need it. I only tried on one outfit so far because I am currently wearing the, uh, if I stop spinning, the seamless camo in like the green colour. This is like the black, or was it no, charcoal? Or was it black? I think this might be black. I've only tried on one outfit so far, but I ordered the like teal one in this exact same style because again, so flattering. And also the charcoal mall. I believe it was a mall. Like a seamless again, but I don't know what range it was from. <sighs> Weirdly enough, I'm not actually tired, even though I'm yawning, if that makes sense. But yeah, so I tried that on. Today is, or well, tonight's plan is to get under my bed 
which involves taking the whole last mattress off, taking boards off, because yeah, there are boards underneath this, like, is it called a box bed? Like, is it called a box bed? I keep looking at the view, like, my phone screen. Um, get under there, put my suitcase back under, because when this plumber guy was diagnosing the problem, like, as to whether or not it was coming from my own suite, he had to take apart my bed just to get to it. So I thought, oh, when he's replacing the part, he's going to need to go underneath the bed. He didn't. So I didn't even need to do any of that. But I obviously had anyway. So I need to put that back just because it's currently on top of my wardrobe. And I'm like, I want it out of my life i need to organize like my wardrobe because i want to sort some stuff out so that i can try and i guess hide some stuff i ordered a three drawer piece off of amazon for like 20 quid i ordered this lame thing off of amazon again it was like seven pounds something and i was expecting it to be bigger I'm not joking. Like, let me get it for you. Now, I was expecting the thing I ordered to come with like a hook type thing. You know, like something you can hang over the door, but no, it didn't. It is this. You can fit stuff in. The pockets aren't as big as what I thought they would be on the Amazon thing. But I like it and I think I do have a use for it. But I've had to stick it on a coat hanger. Like, this didn't come attached to the wood, so I had to fix that on. Yeah. But I think I can put stuff in there. Like, I'm pretty sure I can put stuff on there. But I was expecting it to be bigger. But I probably also didn't look at the specifications and i also need to clean out my room because i still have a knife from when i bought a cake it was one pound 15 from go up it was a victoria sponge cake and it it was like that big and i might have eaten it all in like two days yeah glad i bought that gym membership but then also a few days later I ate a chocolate cake that same size. So yeah, that's how stuff's going. Not managing a budget very well. Not after probably spending like almost 300 quid during Black Friday, like not even Black Friday week, like the week before, like the week when like black friday like gym shows black friday started like mm, yeah so i need to write a to-do list which includes working out what my spending has been for like the previous two weeks because i didn't track last week's either because it's currently the 29th going into the 30th and i only did 1265 steps now my first gym visit, I went at a similar time to this, but I'm not going today. And, ah, uh, look, my empty 21 pack of Kit Kats. There could be a loose one hanging about. Oh, I doubt it. <sighs> and the amount of sweets I've eaten this past week. Yeah. Mm. However, because I know I'm going to be tired tomorrow, I am going to buy a Costa. Like, oh yeah. I left out some cheese string pizza once I didn't like it, and I kind of forgot to put on the flat group chat. Like, hey, someone take them. So, someone might ask about those. Yeah, I'll be back with you in a sec.
Okay, so whilst I was putting that whole thing on the chat, I'm pretty sure a Fleming has had one of them. But honestly, I expected her to be one of the ones. No shade to her or anything. I just sort of knew she'd be up for any food. But anyway, as I was looking for the book in which I wrote all my notes in, like in terms of like to-do lists and whatever, I came across my cake tin that I bought. I have not made a cake. I've been like, mmm ingredients are a bit expensive so yes of course i have a cake tin and you know only the eggs for it but i brought the eggs to make egg fried rice but yeah just to make my sweets seem a bit healthier but you know how i was going on about my two th my like 300 pounds now i haven't worked out the expenses i've got the notebook for it behind me but i i'm showcasing one of my impulse purchases an apple pencil like honestly it was an impulse purchase because it was at quarter past 12 on a monday morning and I do mean morning, as in quarter past midnight. So yeah, that was £84 gone. I went with the um, the one on Amazon just because um, there was it was £5 cheaper. Yeah. Also, talking about £5, I was walking back from, like I was walking to the bus from work on uh, Friday. Now, granted, this work shift was only six hours. But I still got the bus back. It's only a pound. It's only a pound. And the bus was going to run anyway. So, you know what? Make it seem more worthwhile for the planet. But I was walking to the bus. It's like a five minute walk. I'm not joking. And I found a five pound note. Now, I didn't see who dropped it. So, obviously, I can't. It's not as though anyone could properly make claim for that five pounds so i gained five pounds so yeah i i felt so like lucky much to the point where after sunday's shift because again i was walking to the bus but this one was a bit longer so like the shift was longer so but i don't like i was looking out but i didn't find any and I just have some like cuts to my skin from work, like one there, one there, and one there. Mm. That one was from cutting eight onions. Yeah, and I think I only had to stop twice, maybe a third time out of eight onions, and they're large onions as well it's for onion rings but yeah that's one apple i was about to say apple purchase well obviously it was but that was one impulse purchase is what i was intending to say but at the same time that was the week where i spent 102 pounds on gymshark for four items which i did the maths it works out at an average of 25 pounds 50 per item which is a steal for Gymshark, especially when I think two of the items should have been um, like £50 originally, but obviously I didn't pay 30 so bonus! <sighs> yes, I know what you're thinking, just go to sleep at quarter past 11. I'm always scared that my alarm's not going to go off at the time I want. And so, for this, I just find it easier to stay up and try and get there on time. And also, I do need to take my placement uniform with me because I want us in um, uniform. But I do now know where my placement is in the sense of it's community. That's all I'm saying. And yeah. Let's grab a pen. Let's go for pink. 
Now, I couldn't find the notebook where I do my notes in, so I just grabbed my academic planner, and I just grabbed last week's, like, half of last week's, um, was it last week? Well, the week before, I grabbed the last half of the page where it was blank, and I'm going to use that as my to-do list page, because yes, my room is a little bit of that bad. Yeah, I can't find it from lifting up a pair of jeans, so. But it does the same. So. I'm like, I need a table. I don't want to twist this too far because otherwise it's just not gonna go but anyway to do list this position really does make your leggings dig in though like you gym leggings because it goes into your roll um so it's better be quick um i might put all these tasks down in like specific yeah let's do that put suitcase under bed even though i'm gonna need it in like two weeks time but for a week it can go back put storage box under bed that isn't coming out for a while Even though there's stuff in the storage box that can go in the bin. Um, put extra placement clothes under bed. Because why not? Then I also want to put Christmas presents under the bed. Just because they're currently out. And we'll stick them under. I want to hang up my jumpers just because they're currently taking up like a drawer in my um, wardrobe. And I would like to claim that drawer back for any like extra food that I buy. Rather than using up just the top shelf of my wardrobe. So, and also obviously like jumpers are like thick or like hoodies. And so by clearing that out, that's gonna pull up a lot. Um, those are the main things because I don't think that um, my washing is quite dry because it was only put on yesterday on the air where like granted it is almost like 48 hours later so it should nearly be dry and by the time i come to finish this list it might be dry so i'll put take clothes off error i'm obviously not going to hoover we'll put clean toilet we might as well do the whole bathroom clean sink and clean shower they're not dirty in a sense but obviously you know clean um i should probably dust well yeah like my sh desk dust shelf yeah i think those are the main thing yeah i think those are the main things i know it's mainly just like the generals of putting like rubbish in like the bins and and I think I might have like the odd spoon in here that could do with the washing up and obviously 
but it's nice. Oh, we'll also put workout spending for previous two weeks. Because, you know, it is a task. I do know that I need to be quiet with, uh, like, on the quieter side with my sorting out and uh, my bed just because it is like putting the bowl back is isn't like a quiet thing but it kind of sets off the chain for most things like the workout previous spending can be done like straight away or like now bathroom can be done now yeah and technically, because I was planning on posting the pl extra placement clothes in the storage box for now, because I'm taking them home to sort it out, those, oh, that can be done now. But at the same time, I also need to sort out the sort of run and play because I need to take the mattress off the bed in order to be able to get the board off, like obviously. But I need empty sort of like space like in the sort of I was going to call it walkway like the gap between the bed and the desk so that I can take the mattress off you get what I mean I also have a crate not like a proper crate but like it doesn't have it's not a collapsible crate but yeah I have a crate and that's currently in my wardrobe it will, I think it was actually under my bed so I think I'm gonna put that under well I am gonna put that under and also my makeup box as well but I know that that's not coming out for a while because I'm not going to take my whole makeup box back with me like I will take back some but at the same time I didn't ask for any makeup so it's not as though I need to just bring loads back if the, if you get what I mean so yeah i th i was gonna say i think i put might put one of my um, my college textbook underneath my bed just because i haven't needed it at this point granted i might look at it though just because it could have something f that i need for the essay that i'm writing that is due in like just over two weeks time uh, but yeah like it doesn't sound like much but you know it looks like a lot <sighs> yeah so let's get on with it i guess i want to try on like my other two things from gymshark but we might clean in this stuff and also i'm getting like a chill but my window's closed and I've got the radio on, not the radio, the radiator. Jeez, I've got the radiator on. So it shouldn't be cold, but it could just be because I'm wearing a lack of clothing in a sense. But yeah, the window's not open. It hasn't been open for a while. Sometimes I open it, sometimes I don't. It all depends on like, am I hot or not? Okay, so it's now just before 4 a.m. in the morning on the 1st of December. <gasps> I get to open my advent calendar. Yes! It's a Haribo one, so I will show you it in a minute. I luckily didn't pay for it though. But yeah, I've got to go to Peterborough today for an induction. I didn't find out I was having to do this until yesterday. Like, it wasn't confirmed that I was going today until yesterday, which is a bit poor with my uni. I've taken, like, I've took my clothes off of the era. They're currently piled. Yeah. <sighs> That's pretty much all I've done. <laughs> and obviously it's been over a day since I talked to you last. Like, I still need to sort out my room, but I now feel like my room's less cluttered now that um um 
error is not there. It's currently in the bathroom, just because I wanted to move it out of the way. I think the first order is putting clothes away because then once clothes are away, that will give me a bit more space. Yesterday, all I did was work out how much I'd spent during the week of like the 13th of November to the Sunday whenever the 21st basically I spent 300 quid total that week which is a bit like excessive obviously um but yeah and then last week I spent what did I spend oh I can't remember now oh god I'm like how much did I spend Last week I spent £71 and like 11 pence. I wasn't including pence, but you know, we're going with pence. So yeah, I definitely spent a lot of money, but yeah, and then this week will be an excessive, more excessive amount again, but obviously I couldn't influence the train ticket, which was £22.30. I haven't got a rail car just yet, just because I hadn't had a need for one, but yeah, like I hadn't had a need for one, so it was sort of like, well, why get one, but obviously I might need one for a placement if I end up having to travel to Peterborough on the other day, so yeah, but Let's now put away these clothes, like, especially these ones, like, oh god, I'm trying to find my finger, like, these ones, like, right here. I'm literally pointing away from them, but on camera it looks so I'm pointing too, but you get what I mean. So yeah, if I put those away, it'll at least make that a bit easier. I need to find out where my bin bags are, I couldn't see them in the drawer yesterday. But, yeah, I also need to plan what I'm wearing today. And, like, I don't usually plan, but at the same time, it's like, well, I at least need to put, like, some thought into it. But, yeah. Kind of wish I had a long sleeve top now. Like, just a normal long sleeve top. But, hey, hey, we'll do. But, yeah. Uh... Overall, there isn't actually that much, but it's just because I think some of there's some like bigger items and it's making it look messier than it actually is, if that makes sense. So, yeah, well, let's go on to organising this stuff. And also, I want to put my um, suitcase under my bed and I will be doing that. Like, my train's just before seven o'clock. I leave, yeah. So, in order to make sure I get there out on, like, time, I'll probably leave here at, like, 22, kind of thing. Because I'm meeting up with a few others beforehand in order to, like, because we're all getting on the exact same train. But, yeah. I definitely want to get stuff underneath the bed and just tidy up my space a bit. And I quite like doing it at this time of I say I like doing it at this time of the day, but I find because I'm more relaxed, I'm more likely to do it at this time of the day. But yeah. I'll probably get changed into like something, like some clothes. Just so that I can film like clips of like me organising because I'm currently in my nighty. Cause I wear a nighty because it's just I find it comfortable. But yeah. Cause the other day um when i said i was going to do work i then sat on my ipad for a bit i didn't sleep i slept last night after i got back from doing uni decided to give you like a different angle as you can see things are still a bit more of a mess i haven't actually brushed my hair yet i did change i've just got a white cami on and blue jeggings sorry for anyone who doesn't like feet um 
yeah i just decided to go for this because it was easier than going like a dress because i don't have a long sleeve t-shirt so i can't i would be cold on the arms like i know i'll be cold on the arms here so technically that doesn't make sense but at the same time i feel like this looks more put together in some ways but yeah it's not placement so i can get away with it a bit more and yeah honestly let's just hope that it's okay i'm sure it will be though but i might stick on a cardigan like underneath because then it's like you put it more together yeah honestly i'm probably not making sense but yeah i'm on my floor i can't I don't know where my bigger bin bags are. Like, I can find my smaller ones. And when I say they are small, I mean they are small. But I can find my smaller ones. I just can't find my bigger ones. But I think I'm just going to sort out. Oh, there's my notebook. I think I'm just going to sort out, like, what's on my bed. Like clear it off so that I can get the mattress off so that I can sort under there because at least then I've got that sorted and it would yeah it would just mean that I've got that sorted and it's out of the way done with I think I'm gonna put my puzzle underneath the bed as well just because I haven't apart from the day I got it I haven't done any of it so I'm sort of thinking well if I put it under the bed I can always get it out in the meantime before I go home but if I go home and haven't done any of it then it can just stay under the bed and it's fine so I think I'm just going to do that because then it's out of the way and it's off the floor and all of that good stuff so yeah it's just trying to reduce what I can see and I think I need to sort that plant out because I don't think it's too fancy but yeah that's pretty much it apart from needing to find those bin bags because I have got some like stuff for recycling that needs to go in the bin but honestly the bin bags are probably underneath no I can't find them um I'm and they are in the room I know I'll find them but yeah and like I said, it is very much a mess, as you can see. I did sort out my um, like wardrobe though, so that is good. Apart from like the odd jumper I haven't hung up, but apart from that, I'm good. But yeah. So yeah, underneath my bed is, I'm putting like the rest of my placement, like clothes, just because I don't need them yet. And also, I don't actually need them for my first placement, but, so I'm getting those up, like I'll put them under until I need to get them out in like a week and a half's time for packing to go home, just because I'll wash them at home. And also I'll put Christmas presents underneath there as well. Obviously I've just said I'll put my puzzle under there, my suitcase is going under there. So is my under bed storage box, which probably will, I'll probably put the Christmas presents in there. Just, yeah. And so that will reduce what's like out of here. I think I'm gonna put my laptop bag under there as well because the strap of it is broken. And I've not got any more reasons to go into the uni and I can always use my backpack plus also I am getting a new laptop bag like at Christmas or birthday so yeah I just get but I still want to keep it because it is a I do like it but at the same time the big strap broke so I'll just put it under my bed and yeah at some point i do need to eat some form of breakfast because i need to leave here about at, at 22 at the latest really in order to meet up with my course mates to get the train which is a couple of minutes before seven as i'm pretty sure i said but 
yeah i'm just gonna get buy like a tesco ready meal out it's just it's easier i know obviously it does work up like a cost but at the same time it is convenient and if i like even if i would was to have like made my um like lunch my lunch myself it's too late now in the sense of like unless i wanted to go to the tesco in like probably like half an hour's time i can't really make my own lunch but yeah it's just easier and also i get a drink as well i'm still going to take a packet of crisps myself because i can always have a second packet but it's just easier just to go for a tesco meal deal and yeah so that's what i'm gonna end up doing like today like for eating i don't have to like worry about that as such but yeah i've been talking for too long so let's see if i can set you up somewhere to um so you can see me sort my shit out i almost had this like drop on the floor but luckily i caught it Oops, and for a moment there I thought is one of my flatmates coming to tell me to shut up, but no, it was just me creaking, like my floor creaking. I'm just about to leave to go get the train, but I've just remembered that I need, well, I don't need to, but let's do it now. But I have the advent calendar. Now, I have already found number one, because it is, hold on, there. Oh, God, it's a big thing. It's like there. I know you can't really see it but let's see what have we got once we figure out how we open them like which way we open them from if that makes sense aha there we go oh it's i'm pretty sure it's just some like the gold bears the like the mini ones I love myself some gold beds. Obviously, like the tiny, tiny packet, but that would be good with like a little snack. But yeah, some little mini gold beds. And now I need to go get the train because it's like 25 to or just after. But my room is definitely looking better. It might not look like it, but you know, it's a work in progress. But it is definitely a lot better. I put some stuff underneath the bed. I forgot to put my laptop bag under and I think there was something else I was putting under as well but I forgot to put my laptop bag under but I can always do that later. Brush my teeth, all that. I stuck on a little bit of makeup, literally barely anything but I wanted to make the effort because I'm making like a proper trip. It is for course but you know. So and I made sure to pack everything so I should be good. So let's go get the train. So I didn't end up filming any more after this. I went to Cas like I did the induction, went to Casper's in Peterborough, and then came home and that was literally it. It's also now 2022 and my room is still a mess. Different mess, still a mess. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video and there is a next video i promise i have one coming sooner than what this one is to the last but yeah <laughs>